Atlas International going up against Echo. And what I wanted to say was that Echo picked up the most banned hero uh -oh. of Blacklist International. They keep banging, banning out this, this Franco. So now, Franco in the hands of Echo, this might be a bad game for Blacklist. Yep, and the reason why is because it breaks the Ubin. You don't get to engage on your terms. And in the hands of the playmaker, Yaoi, it's going to be a great way to, again, either set up a box that Blacklist is not comfortable with or a break whatever Blacklist is trying to do. And this is a similar approach to, again, uh, what RQ did against Echo yesterday, right? They picked up that Franco, but unfortunately for RQ, they didn't have anything to build around the Franco. Meanwhile, here, I was questioning the Brody pick earlier on. I was like, what? Brody into Lolita? Then you see the Franco and you're like, there you go. That's what it was for. You hook the opponent away and what's the Lolita gonna do, right? Sure. He, she can actually jump in quicker maybe to get that shielding down, but it's a bit too risky. And if Venus is on the receiving end of the hook, it's going to be a lot to deal with here. And Venus right now is going to be caught. Yaoi going to throw the iron hook. Good dodge by Venus. Yeah, looking at this game, Blacklist International, I would say after the group stages, this Franco is a nightmare for them because it is the reason why they've lost. So now we got to see their, their evolved form. Have they been able to find a way to fight against this Franco? Right now, looking at the lanes, not a lot is going on. Wise goes down to fight against Sanford, but I don't think they can secure a kill here. Too sustainable, gets out of that one. Wise is level four, Carl TZ as well. Both of these junglers clearing very, very fast. In the end, it's Hachi who actually steals the gold buff away. Yep, looking at a potential 3v3, 4v4 down bottom as they both jockey for position, finding a good pull for this Lord. And it looks like Echo is the one first on the scene. Carl TZ whacking away. Oh, there's a ult! Yeah, Sanford zoning very, very well here with the split split as well. Bringing Wise away. Numenor Blast gonna be charged in. On to Carl TZ, but no! It's Yaoi who finds the Iron Hook and Carl TZ finds the Retribution. Edward on the back line. That's a stolen for the air strike as the Bloody Hunt comes down onto Edward to lock him down. Sanford finding Wise, the flicker over. Edward picking up another. It's a two for one right now. Echo still equal though in terms of the trade because they secured the turtle. I like how Blacklist played that fight just now because even though they were for focusing on the turtle, they kind of understood that it's not 100%. It's not even 50-50, it was kind of a 60-40 at that point. So they tried to find the alternate win condition around the turtle, which is try to get a little bit more kills. So they were willing to expand a lot of their uh, resources there. Looking at the items right now, really not a lot of power spikes just yet. The Beatrix here, piloted by Ohad, understands that there is a chance he's gonna get attacked, and right now, Carl Jesus is getting attacked. He is the frontliner though, so he's happy taking that damage in. Haji is gonna be the one losing a whole lot of HP from Sanji. Venus does too, and now that mid control is for Echo. And you're seeing here the difference between Haji and Sanji, a Valentina and a Farsa. It seems like now, when the ult is ready on Sanji, he's just willing to pull it out and then force Haji to respond. It's all about timing, it's all about engagement. Oh. And Yaoi, did he do it? No, the Filipino sniper still confirms the gold crab. That was an insane calculation, man. An insane micro play by Oheb, right? He, he knows exactly how it was gonna go down. Even with the snipes there. I gotta say, in my head, he was holding his breath and like, yeah. one, two, Huh, just get it. And I just want to touch a little bit about the emblems because in terms of scaling, I kind of feel like Blacklist, they have an advantage because Oheb is using a Marksman emblem compared to Benicuti using the Assassin emblem. He's going to have a lot of damage, but still, in terms of scaling, Blacklist, they have it in the bag. And now, looks like Echo, they're just going to push Blacklist away. Don't push too hard. Oh, not an engagement that Echo wants to go for because, again, they spent a few ults there. Mind you, Yao still has the bloody hunt, still has a hook waiting on him. Benicuti as well, for the part memory, goes for a pull, Numenor Blast charged up by the Queen, that as well by Carl TZ. And Carl TZ is gonna be able to spin him out, that's the bloody hunt, locking Edward down. Edward taking low, but still able to survive for now. Torn apart memory, he popped in as Benny flickers forward to pick up the kill. Turtle over the blacklist right now, as Sanford jumps in with Swiss Split, bringing Venus back for the damage to come through once again. Sanji picking up. Yaoi almost finding the Iron Hook, that's the immobilized. Haji pours the flicker out, and Echo will be able to take the better trade. 2-0, Turtle goes over the Blacklist though, as well. It's actually Echo who took it, wow! Clear win now for the Orcas! Yeah, clear win because they have a lot of birds in the early stages of the game because Wise being in the front line, he can 
he sees them for a bit, and Oheb, that was lucky that he did not get cooked. And so far, Oheb will be fine. Looking at the items, player power spikes right now. Looking at Edward, he's not going to be tanking a lot, but he can do a lot of damage because of the genius one. So as long as he can prolong the fight, he can really help himself out, as well as Haji. Speaking of which, Haji is, is using a skill kind of itemization. So he's not going to be too strong right now, but I would say in eight minutes, He's really gonna, gonna, gonna power through uh, Echo. Yeah, and honestly, I do really want to talk about how Blacklist International are negating the bully potential from the Brody, right? Because earlier we saw the lane frozen by Benny Cutie in that lane. Why is he suddenly stop, stopped by into the gold lane, even risking his life just to help Oheb clear it out? And this is what's gonna get Blacklist to that item power spike for Oheb in the gold lane. The Beatrix has been farming very well, considering that he is in a losing matchup up against that Brody. Yep, and we're just waiting for that to flourish. We're just waiting for that to get the payoff. Bottom lane though, you see the XP laner just leaving constantly. Very good wave clear from both the Joy and the Blue Owl oh, the pull on Wise! The Iron Hook, and that's gonna be Bloody Hunt. Chain in with that as well. Come as Edward jumps in with a lot of damage coming down. Sanji with the wings by wings, getting out. Numenom last and for the airstrike stolen away by Haji with the IMU. Venice Rage! Able to find the kill on the Sanford. Carl TZ can be gunned down. That's the iron hook to provide the peel necessary for Carl TZ. It's a one for one. The XP lane traded in for the jungle. Look at Benny Cutie. Benny Cutie. Oh, watch out. Benny from the back line. Oheb hasn't spotted him yet. We're going for the turtle. There's the pull. Yowie as well. Look at this. Prime positioning from the Echo Squad. Oh, he's revealed. There's the hook. Yeah, we missed it. Gonna be stunned up. Venus actually onto the turtle. Carl TZ with a quarter of his HP bar. Oh, that's the feather airstrike prematurely popped in. Sanji's gonna be zoned away now, but Benny, again, this is the man that we're gonna be looking at. Wise, gonna be hooked down. That's the moment for Benny to jump in. That's the damage coming through the turn of our memory as well. To oh, take the turtle what? and to take Oheb. Girl TZ with a death as welcome. Not gonna be able to find it just yet. Sanford onto Venus, bringing him back. New number last three popped in, but he's not gonna be able to get charged all the way. Edward, stunned up, suppressed. Bloody Hunt popped in. Yeah, we gonna fall oh. to the hands of Edward as Sanford still wants to keep on going. Sanji rotating back into the mid lane. Why is he gonna be brought back? It's a pause here in the seventh minute of the game. Messy engagement, and the payoff was just about to come up. Benny Cutie able to hide in that bush, put a few marks on several members of Blacks International, plus on the turtle, which allows Echo to pummel on through forward, but you can't discount the fact that Blacklist played that very well as well. Yeah, Blacklist played it very well, but again, Benny Cutie just understanding the situation, not understanding like just his hero, just Blacklist hero, but he's like, okay. Because I kind of feel like a lot of people looking at that situation, Oheb was kind of isolated by his team. It was prime position to just stun him up, get some stacks in, and then just 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 kill him off just like that. But he's like, no, I'm going to wait and say, I'm going to make sure everyone is close enough. He gets into turret range, he can get stacks onto a lot of people and get maximum value from his ult. And that's what he did. He got maximum value from his ult. And again, there's a very thin line between I guess a mistake and being loco, right? That was, <laughs> that we was were, pretty loco. We that were was so close to, for it to being a mistake, but the fact that Benny's still alive now, uh, at the cost of, of Carl Teasy's life, it allowed Echo with. Actually, it's a uh, pretty good trade now that I see it for Blacklist. Oh, Not yeah. that bad. Yeah. Benny actually fell for the S right though from Sanji in the mid lane, making it in favor of Echo. All right, something transpired in between the time we resumed and paused in. But for now, real quick, folks, Blacklist forcing out a push up top. Buff still secured per side. And we're looking at a possible kill on Edward. Nope. That's Edward for you. Gets out in. Relative ease again, right? Echo trying pressure, but now it's just for Blacklist International to punish in the goal well, in the other side of the map, which is going to be the XP lane. They even tried to deny as much as possible from Benny, forced to use the torn apart memory to get those last hits. This is the world stage, so I'm allowed to be a little bit more critical looking at the way that the game is transpired. Oh, no! oh! We just spoke about this. Yaoi versus Venus, and Yaoi is going to be able to find that iron hook. Oh, oh! Connecting on the wide, bringing it back under the tier one, and that's every one collapsing. Benny with a torn apart memory back up on that cooldown. He's gonna be able to secure it. Feather Edge right now on to Haji and Ohem. 
Hot Tiki be stunned up, has the feather airstrike, but both teams disengage. King and the Queen in a flash goes out. I mean, Edward able to make the most of a bad situation, but LaFell, what does this mean? <laughs> First of all, I just want to say I'm so glad I was interrupted because I was about to say, <laughs> Black is actually looking pretty good because Oheb is going to scale up and Yaoi's not hitting the hooks, but never mind. Yaoi got a very crucial hook. And the thing is, this is the time where Benny Cutie, I would say, is almost at his max because he already has his Blade of Spare as well as the Fury Hammer. Enough penetration, enough raw damage. This is the time you force the fight. This is not about waiting. If you see an opportunity, just go for it. And it looks like Blacklist has already found their window. Haji pulling out Sanford. Carl Deasy losing the pull battle against Twice. Blacklist have a small favorable position over the Lord. It's closer to the south, closer to Wise. They spot on Mavinas. Yaoi throws out a hook. And now and the Lord Dance continues. It's a very slow Lord Dance. It's a macro. Centric play here. Mid control. Steel fought for and that's the seal though. Yeah, we're gonna be able to find Haji oh! Bloody Hunt as well. That's the damage coming through and a turn apart. Memory finds its mark. The better rage to follow it through. Yeah, we're gonna be taken down. Sanford jumps in with split split. Venus with the mana blast, stunning him up right now. It's called DZ gonna be taunted up. Fella air strike to the back line. Oh, it's gonna be spawn caught. Why is that with the appraiser's wrath? Still able to sustain for a bit as Sanford still on that split split. He jumps back away. So Venus going thinking low. That's gonna be Benny dealing out of damage. Now with the turn of our memory! Benny QT with a flicker forward again, styling on Blacklist International. That team fight could not have been better for Echo. Four down, no clap back from Blacklist. And Echo now making a beeline straight for this Elemental Lord. Okay, now Edward coming in, not gonna be able to steal. But yeah, in this game, objectives are important. And Sanford, he's gonna get chased. Will he actually get down? Yaoi stops the progression of Edward. And as I'm saying, objectives are very important. But it doesn't have to be the turrets. It doesn't have to be the Lord kills our objectives as well. And again, Echo, their draft, they have a lot of big potential. So they're really using their draft to define us. I like the, uh, the way that they approach it. Don't fight the Lord. Kill them first. And they did. They found bodies, pushed them all the way behind tier two down bottom. And it's putting on my Venus, who just hit the rank first one, average assist, 10.4 per game here in M4, into a weird position. When do I use Numenon Blast? When do I protect my teammates? When do I find a proactive spot, a window, for us to clap back? And it's looking harder and harder by the minute. Echo pushes mid tier one, and now they're threatening tier two as well. Watch Sanji, he's concealed. Yeah, he pops in the feather airstrike, zoning all away as Edward jumps in closer. Sanji with wings by wings, getting out. Feather airstrike being popped, Sanji flickers out, call TZ. Finding the death to this welcome onto Wise. Gonna be stunned up again. Una flash all out from Venus out of nowhere. Sanford still on the front lines. Benny QT dealing with damage right now. Edward's gonna be able to jump into the back line, but the bloody hunt catches Edward. And a total apart oh. memory silences him, takes him down. Sanji with the wings by wings. Oh, he's gonna be taken low. Forced to flick around oh. by Yaoi. And Sanford flicker forward. Now, Echo still on the march with another air fight taking Venus down. Haji is all alone, terrifying Yaoi. Still able to survive oh! with the iron hook. Connects again. And Echo have wiped out Blacklist International. They're looking for the end. No minions on the board. They're forced to back away. Five for one plus two major objectives pushed in by the Orcas. This is both discipline and ruthlessness. LaFell, where'd they pull this from? I got I first of all I gotta say there's a reason why Franco is the most banned hero for Blacklist International. I kinda feel like going to the next game, it has to be put into contention. Now, Blacklist, how this really happens is because Echo always finds a way to actually dish out damage onto Oheb because every single fight, look at where Oheb is positioning. It's not that his positioning is bad, it's just that he has to constantly run away. He has to run away from Benny Cutie, he has to run away from Sanji, from Sanford, from Yaoi. There's so many ways he can get caught and it's so hard to micromanage all of it, especially when Echo, the way that they attack, sometimes Oheb doesn't see it coming. It sounds like Blacklist has been overloaded by Burst and also a good amount of CC. And those two things are lethal against a lineup like Blacklist, against the Ube Strat. And they just can't pull it off here as Benny Cutie forces a push up top. And that's a clean tier two tower take, gonna help open up this luminous lord for Echo. Now 8k ahead, 8k ahead at 13 minutes. That's insane. And on top of that, 
Benny is on a hero like the Brody, who snowballs like an absolute monster. And you can see here, this is the play by Blacklist International. They still want to contest. Lord taken to half HP. Carl TZ still on it. This is the Lord Dance. As the mid lane pressure will be popped in from Echo. 8,000 gold lead. The defender airstrike will be popped in the zone. Other members away. Carl TZ with that as well. Combining it. Haji stealing. Defend the airstrike again. The better spray. Dino the Mount Blast. Why steals it away? Yaoi got the bloody hunt. But it's all for oh, none. Oh, oh, Set for oh. long. Yaoi's gonna be gunned down. Oh, the Red Oak. But Benny. UT. Again. With the back door. Damn you, Benny. Debut of the world stage. He takes game two away from Blacklist International. I just gotta say, man, the way this set up, the entire map, they're setting up for a checkmate. And then Benny Cutie is like, I don't care about pawns, I don't even care about Queen. I'm going for the king. And